degeneration age related macular degeneration what's going to be the presenting complaint uh, uh the presenting complaint it's it's like a blurring of vision blurring of vision mainly is a loss of central vision loss central vision loss it's again going to be very difficult for the patient to appreciate uh, i mean to give you as a presenting complaint right but what they're going to usually say wavy lines wavy lines and object looks smaller than they are actually they have got uh, visual hallucination as well i mean uh, they, they 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 see something which is not there it's not like i'm not talking about psychiatric illness it's about eye problem but they have got like altered color vision as well and they can't see things clearly as well but that is not the early stage that is in the advanced stages of uh, armd age related macular degeneration remember a wavy line wavy line central vision loss that is what you need to know, right? Uh, again, what are you going to be your differentials? First is going to be your retinal detachment, curtain falling floaters, right? That is very, very important. Another is stroke, weakness or slurred speech. Why? Because, you know, there is a condition that is uh, what we say is uh, amaurosis fugax. That is really important. Patient can have like uh, loss of vision. Right? That is going to be very, very, very important here. And of course, uh, uh, glaucoma, yes, if it is eye pain, color halos, if you want to say. So that can be your differentiating feature as well. You know, because whenever you get these kind of condition, you need to rule out something which is severe, which is sinister, isn't it? That's our main thing. Now, uh, macular degeneration, you know, we have got two kinds of it. It could be dry, it could be wet. Wet, you have the leakage. Dry, there is no leakage. That's the main thing. Risk factor of yours, of course, is the age, family history, diabetes, smoking, obesity. That's what you will see. When you do the eye examination, when you do fundoscopy, you will see drusens. Drusens. That is the main thing there. Drusens. The leaking. That is in the wet usually. Uh, and visual acuity, you'll see it might be low as well. So what you need to do for investigation, this is usually fluorescent angiography in the eye that you do to find out is it wet or dry because the treatment depends on that. Otherwise, if the patient is able to see uh, wavy lines, object looks smaller, the treatment is visual aids, nothing much you do. However, if it is wet, if it is wet and intravitreal injections are also given, if it is dry, ARMD, no treatment. If it is wet, you need to treat, you need to give intravitreal injections to these patients, right? That's how it works, yeah? DVLA, yes, you have to report. And if the vision is getting worse, just let us know. Come back to us. Yeah, it will I get my vision back? That's the thing. So uh, the thing is, as I said, uh, I mean, will I get my vision back? So acknowledge it. And uh, the thing is, if it is wet, for example, so once we give the injection, you might see the improvement. And at least we can stop the progression of the problem. Yeah. Will I be able to drive? Uh, it depends. I mean, so DVLA will be able to check you in even in more detailing, right? Again, it depends on the on the uh, symptoms, how severe the symptoms are, because in the wet ARMD, the symptoms are going to be very severe as well. So again, as I said, if you, there is any doubt, you, there is no harm in mentioning like uh, informative DVLA as well, because the treatment is visual aids. Sometimes if the with the visual aids, if you're able to see things clearly, there is no harm. You can definitely go for uh, the driving. But uh, even if the visual aids are not making you see clear, then of course uh, there is harm. You cannot drive. Uh, so that is something that you need to consider. Right. So that's going to be very, very important. So what is dry ARMD and wet ARMD? You'll be able to see some leakages as well. That is going to be very, 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 very important. Right. So macular degeneration, few things that you need to know. Wavy lines, objects look smaller, drusens, dry and no leakage, wet is the leakage. Right. And inform DVLA and finish it off. Uh, specific treatment, as you know, no specific treatment, uh, but in the dry, there's no treatment, but in the wet, you have to go for injections as well. Symptomatic is visual aids. That's what you do. Same thing I'll repeat for IPS. It's your eyes, chuck and check, summarize, acknowledgement, body language, signposting, active listening, 
offer leaflets to your patient right so that is your macular degeneration